Hi beautiful people. So today I want to talk to you guys about why I started the vlog. So about, let's say, nine months ago, I went to New York with my best friend Sarah and we decided to vlog our entire trip. And overall, it was a great experience. I loved being able to highlight those moments and look back. I guess still watch the video to this day and get a laugh out of some of the things that we did during the trip. It was only a few day trip, but we vlogged all the few, like key moments and did certain vlogs during the day. And it ended up being a 10 minute video, which I have posted in my longer videos that you guys can watch. And it was an amazing trip, but Overall, there, from there on out, I decided to start vlogging. Next, I went on a trip with my friend Kelsey, which you will see some of the videos she has also included in some of my most popular videos, one of which she was pulled over. That's probably uh, one of my most popular videos, along with we also went to a donut shop, and that is another popular video of mine that we vlogged about, essentially. And that was a trip that we went to Myrtle Beach, and um, I vlogged the entire trip. But overall, I had made a decision from there on out that I wanted to start vlogging. At that point, I hadn't decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel, though. I just wanted to start vlogging and taking the videos and sharing them with my friends and family because I travel a lot. And a lot of times people will ask me what I've been doing, what my, like, what pictures they can see, what about my adventures and whatnot. And instead of just telling them about it, I wanted to show them it. So I, like I said, I started vlogging. Well, the big thing for me and Andrew was we were moving in April. So we made a cross country move to Florida and I vlogged that entire trip. But not only that, I made a decision when we came down here that I was going to shortly after start a YouTube channel. And the reason for that was because everyone kept asking, not that I was annoyed, but they kept asking, hey, like, what have you guys been up to? We miss you guys a ton, like send pictures. And they would call me and they would ask me about it. And I would get the same questions over and over and over again. And finally I was like, you know what? I already vlog. I will start posting it on a YouTube channel and just share it with my friends and family. And then I got this brilliant idea. I'm sitting in my book room as you can see, and I'm like, you know what? why can't I start a YouTube channel and actually make it public and see where it goes from there? And I'm all about setting goals for yourself. So I sat down and was thinking about it for, it was late actually, it was I think a Friday night and Andrew was gaming and I was sitting in here and I'm like, why don't I just post all the vlogs I have and on YouTube and see what happens? And one of my videos with, overnight got like 1300 views and I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Well then I shared my YouTube channel as one does with all my friends and family and a lot of them supported me and they subscribed and they currently still watch, which is amazing. So overall for me, what vlogging is, is I want to be able to share my moments with my family and friends and all my subscribers. But not only that, I want to be able to look back on some of these moments and remember them from not only just pictures, but like actually having them recorded because for me, it's important to be able to look back and see family members, friends that I've spent time with in real time, not just an image per se. So that's a big reason why I started my vlog and also the fact that I really do like sharing content. I enjoy seeing people being able to enjoy the content overall that I create. Overall, that's essentially why I started my vlog and I hope you guys enjoy this video and a little background on why I started my vlog and I hope you guys like and subscribe and enjoy my videos from here on out and we'll talk soon.